What is the point? One needn't be a nihilist to ponder this overarching question. It may even be the er question. Well, probably not. It probably was how to scrape by and find enough calories to barely survive on this harsh rock hurtling through space. <sighs> but I digress. Is it as simple as pulling up the Maslow hierarchy of needs? Or the fact that I'm even posing this question means that I've reached the very top of the pyramid? Our ancestors who occupy solely the bottom tier didn't burden themselves with luxurious behaviors, such as getting a few avocados at the farmer's market to learn how to make better guacamole because you must learn new things. The point is oftentimes defined as a relationship with the divine dog, or to maximize your genetic output. Well, not for me, for reasons I'd rather not go over right now. So only by assuming we ever even do reach the top slice of Maslow's pyramid are we afforded the opportunity to yearn for the ever-receding why. So again, what is the point? I think the point is to gradually broaden your aperture. Everybody has a vantage point on life. In a very real way, it is impossible for anybody's perception to be wrong. So perceiving the world as somebody else might is like a camera's aperture broadening. More of the breadth of life is drawn upon when interpreting new events and experiences. You see more of the picture. The point is to maximize the things that bring you pleasure, such as cheese on kibble and naps and sunbeams, and to minimize the things that bring you pain, such as loud mopeds and squirrels. Within those two goals is obviously a universe of complexity. The overlapping perceptions and aspirations of everybody causes a familiar confusion and anxiety that seems to pervade quotidian modern life. But tuning your eyes to perceive the world like somebody else will never make you understand less. Maximizing your pleasure and minimizing your pain may land on some ears like a hedonistic treadmill. But surely pleasure assumes more complex forms than merely dopamine hits from drugs and sex and aversion to touching the stove. We derive pleasure from a confluence of complementing and contradicting concepts coming to a conclusion that ultimately our individual happiness is the point of it all. Of course, the pursuit of your own pleasure doesn't need to be in competition with others' pursuit. In fact, they often coincide. One cannot understand the pursuit of another without the foreknowledge of their perception. The animals <laughs> don't have these problems. Because when you don't even know that other beings have their own perceptions to begin with, everything that happens is filtered through how it affects you and why it matters to you. Sure, there are others you see fritter across your field of view, but they aren't feeling this hunger pang or chill from the biting outdoors in the visceral way that you currently are. Seek understanding everywhere. Not just externally with education in the written word, but internally with thought experiments. Why does this person think what they think? Why do I think what I think? Why do we think about other people thinking? Why do we think about other people thinking about other people thinking? It's turtles all the way down. <laughs>